I was I was talking to someone the other day. He's 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 big into you know like alpha male type of stuff, which I actually want your opinion on masculinity. But he's big into alpha male stuff, and he's like, oh, I, I started up a Patreon. I'm like, hey, just by the way, you're gonna get dropped very soon. I, have you read the terms? I mean, that's funny to me. I, you know, just on my show this morning, I haven't mentioned Patreon on the show in like three, four years because we started Locals, which was a competitor, and I believe a far not I believe I think. Uh, for a fact, it is a far better product than Patreon. You own all your data. Uh, we have much better rules related to speech and everything else. But Patreon, literally, what caused me to create Locals, Patreon has in their terms of service that if they don't like what you do off their site, literally, and by the way, that's being used against Russell Brand right now because YouTube adopted the same thing. Mm. So if YouTube doesn't like what you do in your personal life, they will demonetize you. That's what they've done to Russell Brand right now. YouTube has no reason to demonetize Russell Brand. If you don't like Russell Brand because of these allegations, then don't watch his videos. But YouTube has now just decided, Russell Brand, you cannot make money on your content. Patreon was doing that. That's what started me on Locals. But yeah, anyone that's going independent now, if you're interesting or have anything worthwhile to say, the idea that you would do it on Patreon is crazy because any of these companies can just take you out just like that. It's a... Very dangerous. And the, the problem is the bar is always moving, right? You could today say, well, I have a very reasonable stance. Men can't get pregnant. And in three years, you're like dead, gone. Yeah. You're fired. You well, can't even say right that. Now, think about that right now. I mean, if you were to, I don't know what Patreon's position on that is, but if you were to say that, you know, a man can't become a woman, something that Donald Trump himself was having trouble saying to Megyn Kelly a couple of days ago, but everyone knows that's, that's irrespective of your feelings about trans people, a, an adult who decides to live a life as the opposite gender, it doesn't change your biology. That, that is a fact. That is something that has been known by human beings for eternity. And by the way, there have been men acting as women for eternity. There have been women acting as men for eternity and all of those things. But I don't know what Patreon's position on that is. Like trans women are not really women. They, they deserve dignity and respect that they should also afford others, which unfortunately it's not often a two-way street with a lot of these people. Um, but you know, it's like, if you want to take any position, it's not, that's the point. It's not controversial. If you just want to take any sort of sane opinion, uh, you could be on the chopping block. Right. And, and, and a sane opinion today might be a chopping block, to be, which is why I think that creating platforms like Locals, like what Elon's doing with Twitter, now X, is, is a really important consideration. We need to think as creators, as business owners, where are we building our house? What kind of foundation are we building on? Oh, well, yeah, absolutely. We, I mean, you, you, well, that's the thing. I mean, look, Elon bought Twitter. Twitter was purging money. I think he bought it for, what was it? 47 billion, wasn't it? Something like that, right? Yeah, something, I, right? I, like, that sounds right. 47, maybe 52. I don't remember. What yeah, it was about. something absolutely insane. It was far more than the market was saying that Twitter was worth. And by the way, Twitter was purging money, right? So it's, Twitter wasn't making a dollar. And yet it was still you know, worth, quote unquote, $47 billion. He buys it. It's an extremely faulty product by his own emission. I've, I've spent some time with him and I sent out a long Twitter thread where he was he said to me, you know, I'm telling you what's true here. You go tweet whatever you want. He called the code a fractal Rube Goldberg machine, you know, a Rube Goldberg machine from Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. Like, like it's such a mess over there, but he bought it and he's done something incredible with it. I mean, if you think in the year that it's been, I think a little less than a year, maybe it was a year next month that he officially got it or was in the beginning stages of getting it. You know, he changed the whole verification process and then started charging people for the blue check. So he started figuring out revenue there. He's now got creators making money uh, through advertising. He's done stuff related to free speech to open it up. Hunter Biden laptop, which of course was censored and a bunch more. It's funny that he gets so much criticism because the only reason he's getting criticism is he's allowing people to converse the way we thought social media was going to allow us to converse. People should be much more angry at Facebook for silencing people or YouTube for silencing people. But instead, they're angry at the guy who's allowing people to talk. When Instagram threads dropped, it was amazing to me. Everyone's saying Twitter <laughs> X is dead. It's done. I'm like, people, these are not the same things. They're, Has anyone they're... been on it? I mean, have you been on threads? Do you have any idea what kind of traction it's getting? Like it got so much good coverage for three days. Everybody's going to threads. It's going to all happen on threads. Twitter's done dancing on the grave. I have not heard one thing about threads. Well, I could check right now. I'm going to have my guy check Brock. When was the last time that uh, Elon, uh, that Mark Zuckerberg even posted on threads? Like, let, let's just even say, I wouldn't even know. Do you go to threads.com? I honestly don't even know where it is. Like, <laughs> 
but you're right. Like, they, but they wanted to create something that would be the more censorious version of Twitter, and they thought people would flock to it. It's just, it's so backwards. It's this. It's it's the blue ocean strategy. Locals is different. There's nothing like locals. X is different. There's nothing like uh, like X. Rumble is different. Thanks for watching Mark Svant Media. Here we're going to help you create a better content in less time and turn that attention into income. If you love this video, you're going to love these videos here. Click the one. Me and my team specially selected this just for you. Click the link. Check out the video. I'll catch you here next time on Mark Svant Media. Peace.